Have you ever wanted to use OpenLP to control OBS? Stay tuned, I'll show you how. Hi, it's Stephen here from The Harvest is Ready. I hope you all are being empowered by God. Well, today I've got something really, really exciting. I'm going to show you how you can use a couple of plugins, I'll just text one plugin called OBS WebSockets and OpenRP and a custom script that I've tweaked um, to be able to use OpenRP to automatically switch scenes um, as songs are displayed or Bible verses are displayed. This is a very interesting feature. It's got a few rough edges, but overall it works pretty well. So let's get into it right now. So let's switch over. Now what I'm doing here, I'm running my laptop that is running, going to be running OBS and we're going to be connecting to that on this computer with OpenRP. You can see I've got OpenRP running over here and you will see very soon OBS running on the other computer. Now what you're going to need, as you're going to see, I found this tutorial um, through the forums at OpenRP as you can see here um, by this 506 guy and thank you so much for this it's pointed me into a lot uh, into the right direction I've got a long way to go to make it a bit more functional but it's it's pretty good as it is right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this you can you can go to my github page to install all of the necessary files which um, you can find here I'll put the link in the description down below but anyway here he's put it this guy's put a really really awesome tutorial it's really easy to follow so if, you, if my instructions aren't clear go to this guy's page he i'll put a link in that direct description down below as well and he goes through it really quite nicely as well so as he says you need obs and open lp um, you also need the obs websocket plugin and you can you can find that through the obs forums and stuff i won't go into tutorial how to install that particular plugin there's some caveats and stuff if you need any help with that i will probably make a separate tutorial regarding to that but anyway you, the generally speaking is you go to the um, obs page if you're on debian just install the dev packets if you're on windows or mac just install the installation package accordingly um, i'm working on an rpm package from uh based on the um, debian package um but I'm having a little bit of problems getting it to install properly. I think there's something to do with the DLR files not being registered. But anyway, into this tutorial. Here we go. So what you're going to need is, of course, OBS, the OBS WebSocket plugin. You're going to need OpenLP. You need you need a custom stage route, um, which is all in the pack that I that I mentioned here on my GitHub page. It's got all the necessary files here accordingly. You pop that into the data folder of. Um, let me just let me just show you there let's just let's just switch over to that right now okay so you, you go go into here and you switch into the uh into tools and into you go to open data folder and you can see in here you'll you'll drag and drop the all the custom stages that you can see in uh, in here you can see all these custom you can drag and drop the folder into here into the folder that says stages if i can read it properly which is here oh no i should click on the right one stages and then you've got a folder here called obs okay what is it obs oh, i've got the wrong one haha <laughs> Okay, OBS, okay. And then we need to edit this particular JavaScript file to get it all working. Okay, so once you've got those files into place into your OpenRP installation, the custom stage views from either my stage root pack or downloading it from the, um, from five of, uh, five of six um, tutorial, you can use his ones or whatever, but the instructions will be a little bit different. But anyway, we're gonna go through and we're gonna, configure the stage view of this particular file here so let me bring up the the file that this is the stage file and we need to edit some of these files now if you've looked at my previous tutorials i've shown you how to set up custom um custom stage views for obs check those out i'm not going to go into installation in there i'm going to go through that very very quickly but let's go over to this other computer let's bring up obs here and what we're going to need to do is we need several files. We need we need a worship screen, and we need a Bible screen, and we need a control screen from um, from OpenLP. Now, okay, yeah, from OpenLP. Okay, so here we need to go back to OpenLP. Okay, 
Okay, we need to go into the into the settings. And we're going to configure OpenRP and we're going to bring up the remote and we need the URL here. So we want to copy that uh, because that's going to be the basis of our controlling and everything like that for our OBS. So first of all, let's create a, a browser source. Okay. And we're going to create a worship one first. Um, yeah. Worship. Okay, we'll put that in there, and then we're going to hold V, and we're going to put in lower third. Okay, configure it correctly. Um, yeah, look at my. Okay, sorry, I've come back now. I've just added a, a set, set up come in the settings because they weren't quite right. Um, I set one up for work. I set up a theme for worship and a theme for Bible. Check out my custom lower thirds so you can actually see how I set those up. I haven't got, gone into detail. I've skipped straight into it. But anyway, let's get back to here. Let's get back to here and actually bring up um, here. We're going to add the worship scene and we're also going to add up the Bible scene. So we're going to add another Linux source here. A browser source should I say and this is going to be Bible scene oh cancel 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 oh, we don't want that one we want to do this one uh, Bible rename that one worship okay caveat here um yeah make sure everything's lower case there is no um backspaces accordingly so yeah um i'm gonna rename this one worship source okay In bible we're gonna add another source okay Right. Good. Yep. Great width and height. Okay. okay. I'm going to add a default background here. The default screen. Okay. So we'll just put a background image in for the dots. Uh, uh, a color source uh, yeah okay so there's just a little background bit at the top okay and I just want to add these into Yeah, if you haven't done this before, if you haven't seen what I'm doing, I'm actually using, um, I'm grouping my particular content together into scenes, and then I can just drag and drop those. It makes it a lot simpler for editing uh, multiple pages, especially, you know, audio settings and things like that. So you can create different viewpoints and you don't have to change every scene. You just drop in the scenes into it. It's really, really cool. Now, the last one to get this all working, we need to now go back to our driver source, okay? We first need to find out the IP address of this particular computer because in here we've got the WebSocket server plugin enabled. I haven't got any passwords right now, but the passwords do work. So we've got the default port, which is 4444, and we need our IP address. So I'm just gonna to go to the settings here, and I'm gonna check our um, network settings, and bring up 
a uh, Wi-Fi should I say so Wi-Fi is there so we need to go to Wi-Fi uh, go to the settings and there is the Wi-Fi address that we want to do oh that's the default route we want this one here yep. okay so we've got that so now we can go back to our to the other screen we can bring this up and we can go to our files and we can do some editing in here okay so what we need in here we need to change some of these scenes in here so the, this local host needs to change to the IP address that we had over there which is 192.168.2.6 and port number is 444 the default scene okay so let's let's just have a cancel out of that cancel out of that and this is where we're going to get the names over here so if we go back to okay so if we go here we can look at some of the default scenes that we've got in here so we've got worship is the worship scene bible is the bible scene and on worship we've got worship source and on bible we've got bible source so we need to change those in our in our in our form here for the worship that the here we go we've got the song source so that's going to be worship that's correct and the, the song source here needs to change to wor worship source let's just double check that worship source so we're going to fix it up now so w o r s o RCE. Well, I'm just spelling it correctly. I know I spelled that wrong. Because if we don't spell it exactly the same, it's not going to work. Okay, um, and then Bible. Uh, Bib source. Okay, so let's go to there. So Bible is Bible. That's the same. That's the same. So we're going to change this to Bib source. Spelled wrong again. Huh. Okay here we've got some other settings for the other types if you have set them up you can put them in here but we don't need to worry about that um, but that's basically um, basically it um, yeah you don't worry about that that's um, I don't think that's needed but yeah okay so there we have it this is all the files in here nothing down here below you need to actually edit or alter so once we've once we've saved that Okay, we can now go back. Let's go back to OpenRP there. We can go now back to OpenRP and we can add another control source over here. So let's go and do that now. So we're going to go in here and add another scene. And this is going to be OpenRP control. Okay. Now we need in here, we need to add another browser source or Linux browser in my case. So this is. OPCTL as a name and we want to put in paste and we want to add an OBS okay <laughs> you can see it's working already 1920-1080 and I'm going to change the, fr the frame rate to that and I want to reload on activate okay um, that will help you in case something goes wrong if it crashes or something like that accordingly so there we go so now we can see here we have got our song updating accordingly okay now let's add a bible in here so let's go to the bibles and let's just put romans 10 and we're going to add that to the service now when we click on this it changes automatically to the correct scene right see so you automatically it will switch over and from OBS and open RP from to OBS now here's another cool thing if I click on here on on the show desktop the scene will disappear enable desktop So there we have it it's not too hard 
I don't think you'll find it. Most of you guys who are watching this should find it pretty easy to do. So download my new lower third pack customize you know in obs you need to add three scenes you know at least three scenes one for your songs one for your bible and then the, the control file make sure you got your ip address regrets and the names for your scenes and your sources correctly and once that's done you're good to go um just one little caveat let me just show you one little thing that you should do let's go back quickly okay so under obs web sockets and the server settings disable this one here okay what I have found is that the tray icon sometimes causes a problem so if you do counter crashes disable the system tray alerts and that should help you there okay so so there we have it using OpenRP to control OBS. So have fun with it. Try to extend it, and if you do, drop me a line. Hey, and if you like this video, hey, please like, comment, and share, of course. And join me on Facebook, where, yeah, where you can find out more about what I'm doing in ministry and things like that over in the Philippines mainly at the moment. Um, and with COVID, of course, it's a little bit quiet. But till next time, be empowered by God.